Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, how do you determine what level of a player you are? Stay tuned. All right, guys, so good morning, everybody out there. Got my dark roast. Mm. Sumatra, love the Sumatra. Nice and strong, bold flavors. Hit you in the face, just like what I need in the morning, okay? Um, sponsor of the day is Justin Cup. Justin writes, really enjoy your content. Oh, thank you, Justin. I appreciate you, and I really enjoy that, you know, you're watching me. I appreciate um, you guys tuning in and hanging out with me today for a couple minutes every day. If you want to support my Dark Rose Piping Hot Coffee habit, the network is buymeacoffee.com forward slash tennis spin. Link is below. Thank you, everyone, in advance. All right, so the question actually came from Luis here, and I've been wanting to do this for a little while. And Luis just kind of reminded me to do this. So Luis from uh, Waterloo, Ontario, California writes, congrats, congrats. Your videos are awesome. I've learned a lot. I personalized my rackets and improved my tennis. Thanks. Question, how to measure my tennis level? ITN, NTRP, UTR, what does it mean? Is there a test or an assessment I can do myself on the court? Do you have any videos about this? Well, Luis, you're in luck today, buddy. I'm gonna do a video on this just for you, okay? So I guess the easiest one to do and the one that a lot of league players, if you wanna join USTA and start playing league, um, you would self-rate. And this is how you would do it. I'm going to go. So we're going to use the USTA, United States Tennis Association Guide, which is called the NTRP, which is what you wrote there. That's the National Tennis Rating Program. Okay. NTRP. Now, for those of you who don't know, it's a scale from one to... I guess 6, 6.5, 6.0. I don't really know a 6.5, but like a 6.0 would be like an open player. Let's say Roger would be a 6.0, okay? Um, a person just picking up a racket would be a 1.0, not knowing anything, okay? So here's, here's kind of the simple, simple guidelines. So we'll start with beginner. So beginner, let's say you're just picking up a racket, you're a 1.0 to a 1.5. You're learning the game, right? You don't really know what you're doing, but you're having fun, okay? You want to progress. You want to learn. You don't really know the rules yet. You possibly don't even know the scoring. So you're literally, literally a beginner, okay? That would be 1.0 to 1.5. Now, as we move along here, the next level up would be 2.0 to 2.5, okay? Now, that is still a beginner. That is still a beginner. Um, this is what you call an intermediate to advanced beginner. All right. So those of you who claim to be an advanced beginner, but you know how to score, right? You know the strokes, right? You can't direct the ball where you want it to, but it goes over the net. Okay. It goes over the net, uh, may not go in, uh, but you're trying, you're trying. Okay. 
you may have a serve or you may not. Um, it's just not a, like, what do you call it? A finished game, let's say. It, it's, you're still learning. It's still a work in progress. Okay. So that's, I guess what you call an intermediate to an advanced beginner. Okay. Now, 3.0 to 3.5. Okay. That is what you call kind of a, how do you call that here? Um, you're no longer a beginner, right? You are now entering, you're entering, you're entering intermediate level. So you're entering intermediate level, okay? So at 3.0 to 3.5 level, you know how to keep score, okay? You know how the game goes. You know how to play a tiebreaker, okay? You know when to switch sides. You have strokes that are not quite refined, but you're getting there. You're definitely getting there. Um, at a 3-5 level, you're playing okay. You're playing okay. You're able to hold a rally for probably 3-5 to five to 6 to 7, maybe up to 10 balls, depending upon um the type of game you play but but you've definitely gained the concept and you're approaching um like intermediate level okay so now next is 4-0 4-0 to 4-5 okay that's definitely intermediate you know you have the game you have the game it's now structured. It's now structured. You know what you're doing. You have consistent strokes. Your strokes are, let's say, looks like strokes, right? And you can hold your own um, in match play. You know, you know exactly what you're doing. You can somewhat um, place the ball, maybe like 60 to 70%. Uh, you know and can control depth. You can control the speed of your ball, uh, control the spin of your ball. Um, at a 4-5 level, you definitely um, know what you're doing. You definitely know what you're doing. That's a pretty high level, like high, high level. Like don't get in the 4.5 unless you've, you know, are super athletic, played in college, and you're like 20 years removed, or a young person who played a little in college maybe a year in a jc um you would be that level you would be a four or five okay now this is where we get into the big boys now this is advanced here five oh to five five that's high level guys that's um you're hitting the ball at a good pace, you know exactly where you're going. You have a tennis game. It looks formal, right? It looks formal. You're striking the ball very clean all of the time, right? Coach Gu is in between here. Coach Chris is in between here, right? Coach Rob is probably a four or five just because you know, of his age, and he doesn't, you know, move as swiftly as he once did. So these are the guys who know what they're doing. So most of the time they've played in college, they maybe even played pro, or were on the ITF tour at one time. Um, and they're just getting back into the game and are playing at a, you know, a pretty, pretty high level. They still have game. And they're able to control every shot, well, almost every shot, depending upon their opponent. Um, and it looks like, it looks like it, you know, when, when you look out on a court and you see somebody at this level, you can hear it as much as you can see it. The, the popping of the ball, um, the cleanliness that the ball gets struck makes a popping noise, right? Usually 
that tells you, yeah, somebody's hitting it pretty clean and it's getting struck pretty hard and the ball is actually going where they want it to go. Okay. So that's definitely a high level. Now pro would be like a six O and plus. Okay. Roger, everybody on tour, everybody you see on TV. Okay. Like a, like anybody would be a six O plus. Now, some people who actually like played in college and played at a super high level in college, um, people who won NCAAs, singles titles, right? They're ranked 6-0. If you played for a national team for your country, right? You're probably ranked 6-0. If you played some kind of Davis Cup or something like that for your country, you're probably a 6-0. Uh, five, five, six, zero, oh, but probably a six, zero oh, because you played in like major competition. Okay. So there are your ratings. These are the simplest ratings you can use. And in a lot of these cases, um, Luis, you can just self rate yourself. Uh, I, if you like, just like from what I spoke about, you can choose, you know, where you think you're at, play a couple of matches within a season or two the the system will actually move you up or down depending upon the algorithm that you know of your win loss record okay now all this can act there actually is a program that you can do you answer some questions and they'll actually tell you what rating you are and that that rating system with the simple questions are actually at playercourt.com. So if you want to know your rating, go to playercourt.com, take the quick, quick survey. It'll ask you a few questions and it'll tell you exactly where you belong. Okay. So don't forget, if you want to know where you are, playercourt.com will tell you. Okay. So if you're looking for that pro, also, like my coach Rob, like my coach Andrew, or even a coach Chris in your area, you can find them and they'll even come to you. Coaches like them, not them directly though, okay? To your court and hang out with you, give you a lesson, be your tennis buddy, okay? Playercourt.com does all that for you. All right, Luis, thanks for the question. All right, taking us out today, my man Karan from Dublin, California. Karan actually just got signed on by Dunlop. So full sponsorship, Dunlop. Congratulations, my man. Take us out. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.